The content of this video is not medical advice or a substitute for physical therapy. Please consult your physician or physical therapist before starting any exercise program. Welcome to part three in the series, Improving Rotation Without Hurting Your Back. Now, if you've been following along with this series, hopefully you've also been dutifully practicing the exercises from parts one and two. Part one focuses primarily on improving rotation in the upper back and hips so you can spare the lumbar spine. And part two focuses on stabilizing against rotary forces, reinstalling your brakes, so that you can control rotation and make sure you don't over rotate and hurt yourself. So if those exercises have been going really well and you feel like you're not hurting, you're confident with them, then you're probably ready to start adding rotation back into your program. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And you're going to need just a few things to make that happen. You'll need a soft surface to kneel on. So folded blankets or folded beach towels work well. You may also need a light resistance band and it might be wise to grab something that's under five pounds that you can use as a little bit of weight. So you're probably noticing that I'm saying light and a little bit of weight because as we add rotation back in, we want to make sure that we're maintaining really good position and technique and we don't want to overload the system and start to make all that fall apart. Now to get started, we're going to go into half kneeling position and and in this sense, I want you to be stacked up. So I want your head stacked directly over your rib cage, your rib cage stacked directly over your pelvis, and then this down knee under your hip. We're going to maintain this upright and neutral position through the rotation motion for this first exercise. And all you're going to have to do, because we want to start with no resistance first, is reach your arms forward, clasp your hands, and then as you exhale, you're going to tighten your abdominals and turn your shoulders. And as you turn your shoulders, roughly 45 degrees from where you started, you're going to feel some rotation in your upper back and hips. But your abs are strong, so hopefully you're you're not going to feel a lot through your lower back. And we're just going to oscillate back and forth here and experience this rotation that's mostly in your upper back and hips and make sure that it feels good, there's no pinchiness, there's no ache or pain. Now, once that starts to get comfortable, you feel confident, you're holding your form, then you can add just a little bit of speed if you would like to. But once again, make sure those abdominals are working and strong so you're not over rotating here. That's your braking system, right? Now, if that starts to feel easy, you may choose to add a little bit of resistance. So you can tether a light band to something like a doorknob, so the band is roughly at abdomen level, and you're gonna do the same motion. You're gonna grab that band with both hands. I'm gonna start turned toward my hip, in this, in this case, toward the anchor point, so that I can start with a little bit of slack in the band, and I'm gonna exhale, tighten the abdominals, to rotate away from the anchor. Now you might see that I'm not rotating quite as far, but that's because I've got some resistance here. It may not feel as good to go as far. So it's okay to shorten the range of motion a little bit, make sure it still feels good and you're able to maintain your proper alignment and technique. I do about five to eight of these and then switch sides. So for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you the one side, but make sure you're rotating to both sides and you'll probably want to switch your forward leg as well. All right, now before I get into the second exercise, I just want to remind you that if you really like this content, especially this series, please share it with friends and family that you think could benefit from this information. All right, now in our second exercise, we're going to, I'm going to start with my other leg forward, kind of bobbled there, but I'm going to start with my other leg forward, so I'm still in that half kneeling alignment, and just like in the first exercise, I want to have my head over my ribs, my ribs over my pelvis, and then that knee directly underneath my hip. Now this exercise is going to add a little bit more complexity because it's a chop. So we're not just going to be rotating, we're also going to be moving the arms up and down. So a little bit more complex movement pattern. So to do this, we're going to start with the arms up and above the forward leg. So you can see once again I'm turned about 45 degrees from my straight straight on start position and this is comfortable for me so only turn as far as is comfortable for you. I'm turning through the shoulders and the hips a little bit here. I'm going to take a breath and I can already feel my upper back is extending a little bit right with my arms up my upper back's extending a little bit hopefully not backward bending but I can feel that I'm reaching through my arms a little bit. 
I'm going to take a breath. I'm going to exhale, tighten the abdominals, and draw the arms down and rotate toward my other hip. So there's the rotation, but I'm also moving my arms this motion. So we're going to reach up as we turn and then down around the other hip. So once again, using your breathing, using your abdominal strategy, making sure that you are keeping that lumbar spine relatively neutral through the rotary pattern. Now, just like in the first exercise, you could add a little bit of speed if you're feeling pretty confident with the slower version of the motion, but you can also add a little bit of load as long as everything's pain-free and you feel like you're well in control. So I'm switching forward legs to show you the variation with load. Now, if you're doing this at home, make sure you work both sides without any weight, make sure they're both okay before you add load. All right, so here's my book. I'm gonna reach it up and across my forward leg, turning my shoulders toward my hip, and then I'm gonna exhale and draw it down and turn towards my other hip. So reaching up, kind of extending my upper back a little bit, and then down toward the other hip. And once again, making sure at first at least, this is a slow and controlled and pain-free motion. And then as I get more confident and more capable at it, I can start to add a little bit of speed. So please progress these slowly. Make sure you're able to maintain good position and technique through all your progressions. All right, that's it for our tip today. If you like it, leave me a comment in the comment box too. I love to hear from you and get to answer some of your comments. Certainly answer questions too if you have any questions about this. So until next time, keep moving and be well.